Hey there, Mel Abraham here from Thoughtpreneur Academy. In this video, we're gonna talk about the levels of market sophistication or saturation and how that might be keeping you from your success. So stay tuned. Let me tell you, tell you a story about a guy by the name of Eugene Schwartz. Um, he wrote a book in 1966. Now I know it's an old book, but it is a treatise that still is followed today. It's what built Ogilvy and some of the great advertisers of, of the times. And uh, in fact, he was, he's considered the godfather of direct response advertising. And in the book, which is called Breakthrough Advertising, which you can't, it's out of print. If you want to get it, you can find it, but it's like $250 or $500. It's crazy expensive. But he talks about this concept called the levels of market sophistication that I kind of want to relate to us. It's still, it's still important today, and it actually may be the reason your message isn't landing, your, your content isn't making a difference, and why you're not getting the attention of your marketplace. So let's jump into this idea of levels of market sophistication. So first thing is that when we think about the concept of sophistication, what, he, what he's really, at least my interpretation of it, is that he's talking about the saturation of the market. How inundated, how numb are they to the messages in the marketplace? So if we look at, at this, and I built it into a, into a framework, which I'm sure you find surprising, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna walk through this. There's five levels of market sophistication. If you happen to be the first or the second person to market, if you're, if you're number one or number two to, to the market, then this is where you're at. You've got a new solution to a problem and all you need to do is make a claim. You simply need to turn around and tell people, hey, I have a solution to this problem. I have the solution to lose weight. I have the solution to, um, to better relationships. I have a solution. The, the claim itself, the solution itself will sell. So at the very outset of a market, a young market, all we need to do is tell them, I have a solution to your problem. Most of us are not in that space. Most of us are in a space where the solution to the problem is well known. The solution to the problem is advertised. The solution to the problem is, is done by many, many providers. So what happens is that that claim is only there for a little while because it's for the first or the second person to market. We need to then do something different. And what happens is that at the next stage, we got to look at specifically the what which is really about amplifying the claim, okay? Actually elevating the claim. So it would be something like in weight loss, it would be something like, like lose weight in 30 days. So I'm making the same claim, but I'm elevating it. I'm making it actually even, even broader. Now it needs to be believable. If it's not believable, I mean, again, uh, it won't work. So it could be how to stop your baby from, I get your baby to, to sleep through the night in, in the next five days. So you, you create a claim, but then you elevate the claim based on, on how quickly, how easily, how, how great it is, or how, how much better it is. That's the second level of market sophistication. So you gotta ask yourself, if you're in your market, are you at a place where there's claims out there and you need to elevate your claim? but now everyone is making different elevated claims, amplified claims. They're, they're saying, I can do it in 30 days, I can do it in a week. You can have your 10,000, your first five-figure month in, in a week. You can make a five-figure day. Whatever it is, everyone's making those claims, and all of a sudden, again, the market gets numb to it. When the market gets numb to it, we need to move up to level three. Level three is all about how you get the results. How do you get the results? This is about what we call the mechanism. In other words, what is your unique tool, your unique template, your unique process that you use to get results? In, in the context of weight loss, it could be the keto diet is the unique mechanism. It could be the, you know, the Mediterranean diet is the unique mechanism. Or it could be, you know, P90X, which, you know, my, my good friend Tony Horton did, where it was something that you could get the results in 90 days. And, and so what is the mechanism that you use? 
Is it a framework? Is it a process? Is it something else? Because now all of a sudden, the claims don't rise to the level they need to be. The mechanism, the process of how you get it done is what gets, gets their attention. So we then create the mechanism. But here we go again. Once, we, once we're in a situation where, where we, we hit here, once again, they have to amplify the claim, amplify the mechanism. So now we gotta ask ourselves if we're looking at the next stage, level four, how is it that we can escalate our mechanism? In other words, this is kind of like the school kid, you know, my daddy's better than your daddy um, type of thing. My mechanism's better than your mechanism. So the key here is that, how is your mechanism quicker, better, easier, simpler, more accessible, those kinds of things. So now, once again, you'll notice that here, we are amplifying the claim, here, we're amplifying the mechanism. That once we do that, we now need to amplify the mechanism and say, my mechanism is better than your mechanism. That's how we start to get the attention. That's a short-lived process. And as you see, we start to elevate every step of the way. The challenge then is this, what happens when everyone's elevating their mechanism? Market gets numb, we then go to level five. Now level five is, is where we really kind of need to play, and this is called the identity level. This is when we, we appeal to the emotions of the folks we serve. Think about this, cigarettes for instance. Cigarettes, they went through, if you look at the industry of cigarettes, they literally went through, through all of these processes and then they got to the identity level. That's why well, all of a sudden you started to see the Marlboro Man, because the consumer was identifying with that and they said, I wanna be like that. So what is it about your business, if you truly wanna elevate, what is it about your business that can get your clients, the people you wanna to serve, to look at you and go, I wanna be like that. Look at Apple, Apple did the same thing with the the iPod when it first came out, a thousand songs in the park and they had these cool, cool silhouettes and these cool colors that people wanted to belong to the kind of the cool crowd. Many, beer has done the same thing, automobiles have done the same thing to create an identity for them to jump into. So when we look at the market, of, market sophistication in your space, you gotta understand that if you're in a saturated market, they're bombarded with all these messages, they have claims from all over the place, they have mechanisms from all over the place. The place that we need to, to differentiate ourselves on is at the identity level. It's the highest level. So how specifically does this land in a thought leader business? How specifically does it land in someone that wants to be a course creator, speaker, author, trainer? How do you elevate your stuff? And, and that, that we, we start to look at this whole process a little differently. When you build your content with distinction, when you build your content in a specific process, you actually can transcend all of these levels. And, and let me just walk you through this really quickly. At the base level for your claim, that's built off of a portfolio of intellectual property. In other words, we figure out what your insights are and we have all of this stuff that allows us to get the results that we want for our client. That's the portfolio of intellectual property. That is where we start to base our claims. That will satisfy the level, the level one claim level. We still need to go through the rest of the levels. The, the level two is, is really about amplifying the claim, which is about your process, your proprietary process. So how do you create a process to get them the results you want? And, and I know that we said the mechanism is the process, but hold out for a second because when we get to this next stage, you'll understand what your mechanism should be. In a thought leader space, in a difference maker space, level three, your true mechanism is a framework. Now you have a framework that's memorable, that's deliverable, that, that makes complex things easy to understand. So you've got a framework in place that makes, makes that happen. Then level four is all about how you position yourself, your framework and your result in your marketplace. So it's all about positioning, it's all about messaging, it's all about, about how that's positioned in that unique space. And then the last stage, level five, the identity level, is all built about your uniqueness and your story. People will get attracted to your story. People will get attracted to your uniqueness. So in the thought leader space, 
this is how this, this plays out. Yes, the book was written in 1966, but it still holds too tr true today. And it's still important for you to understand that if your market is at a level of saturation or sophistication where you got to play at that higher level, we need to build your content in a distinct way, like I'm saying here, to make it stand out, which means that you need to have all five layers in place the portfolio of IP, the process, the frameworks, the positioning, and the story. That's why we built the Legacy Maker Formula the way we did. We have distinction, we have reach, and we have prescription to allow you to build that difference maker business. And, and so this is the understanding, the foundational understanding of why the process is important, why it's important. We still need to get it built. So in order to help you with that, here's what we're gonna do. I'm doing a special free training that I want to invite you to. And so look for the link somewhere around this video and go ahead and register for, for that special training. We'll go deeper on the Legacy Maker Formula. We'll go deeper on the concepts here. We'll give you some of the tools that you need to be the difference maker you want to be, to have the impact you deserve to have, and to have the income that you truly want. See you there. Aturation, depending how you look at it. So stay tuned. Want to redo that because they don't know what that is that you want to want to have in your, uh, and to have the income that you truly want.